carboxylic acids can be transformed into amides if we mix our carboxylic acid in the presence of a dehydrating agent such as DDC as well as an amine. So this reaction is basically a five-step mechanism. Now the entire point of this DDC molecule which stands for dicyclohexyl carbodiamide is basically to act as a dehydrating agent. It creates a good enough leaving group for our final product, the amide, to actually form. So in the first step, we take the carboxylic acid and we basically deprotonate the H atom attached to our oxygen by using an amine. So we form this conjugate acid to this base and we also form our molecule as shown and together they basically interact to form our ammonium salt. So this contains a negative charge that is delocalized among these two oxygen atoms. So this can now act as a nucleophile and attack the DDC molecule. DDC looks something like this. So notice that normally this nitrogen is not protonated, but we protonated to basically create a good enough Lewis acid. So this Lewis based the nucleophile attacks this carbon, displaces this pi bond, placing it onto this nitrogen here, and we form this intermediate in which we now contain a very good leaving group. So by adding this DDC molecule onto this section of the oxygen, we basically convert a poor leaving group into a very good leaving group. And that will become important in step number five. So in step number three, we have this amine molecule attacks our carbon, displacing this pi bond, placing it into this oxygen and forming this intermediate that contains a positive charge on this nitrogen. So to deprotonate that nitrogen, we now take an amine and we take off one of the H's attached to our nitrogen, displacing this bond, placing the electrons on to our nitrogen. And in the final step, we have an elimination reaction taking place. Basically, this oxygen forms a pi bond between the oxygen and the carbon, displacing and kicking off this entire group that is the good leaving group that was formed as a result of the DDC molecule. So in the final product step, we have the amide that is formed in which we basically replace this hydroxy group with this nitrogen containing group and we also form this and ion as shown which basically comes from the fact that the DC that the DDC molecule is attached to our oxygen and then this bond is detached because it's relatively weak it's made weak by this entire section here